Hello, hello, Hannah the Suburban Witch here, and today we're learning how to read the tarot with playing cards. In today's video, we'll go over the suit correspondences, what's included and not included when you use a regular playing deck, some of the things you might come across that might make it easier and more difficult to use, and how to do an actual reading. So you want to read tarot, but you don't have a tarot deck on hand. How about you pull out your trusty old playing deck of cards and give that a whirl. When using a regular deck of playing cards, you're going to have your four suits. There are hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Now these correspond to the four suits that you'll find in a tarot deck, which is your cups, your pentacles, your wands, and your swords. Hearts are the cups, which is the water element. This represents relationships, intuition, and emotions. Spades are swords, which is the air element. This is thoughts and communication, fears and anxieties. Diamonds are pentacles, which is earth energy. This is finances, work, and health. Clubs is your wands energy, which is fire. This is your projects, passions, motivation, and inspiration. The good thing about a regular deck of playing cards is you can pretty much find them anywhere. They're in lots of hotels, hostels if you're traveling, you can find them in airports, so you can just sort of pull out a deck of cards anywhere. This one is my trusty red light district playing cards from Holland when I was traveling about, I don't know, 12 years ago? <laughs> but they'll do for now. Now if you pull a king, it's just going to be the same as a king in a tarot deck. So this is authority figures, protectors, fatherly figures, paternal energy. If you pull a queen, this is going to be the same as your standard tarot deck as well. So this is going to be motherly figures, matriarchal energy, caregivers, nurturers, that sort of thing. Now a jack is where it gets a little different. A jack is going to be mostly knight energy, but it also brings in a little bit of the page energy as well from your standard tarot deck. So almost weave the two together. So the page and the knight become one. You can lean in on your intuition here as well. So if you know the meaning of the knight versus the page in that suit and one just feels so strong to you in that moment, then use that one, go with that. It's not going to be wrong, that's your intuition speaking up, but it could be one or both or together. The only other card of difference is going to be the Joker. The Joker is going to be your full card basically. So new beginnings, the start of the journey, naivety, that sort of thing. You may notice we are missing all the major arcanas. Now this is one downfall when using a standard deck of playing cards. There are some ways around this though. If you know the number sequence, so it's zero to 21, and you put out a few different cards and they add up to say a 13, you can start interpreting an overall vibe of that reading as with the death card, like it was in play as well. Death being number 13 in the major arcana. So that's a little way you can start to weave it in, but you're basically not going to have all of those major life events coming through in that way. You're going to have to just use the cards as they are. Another perk to using a standard deck of playing cards is the fact that most people aren't scared of them. They don't look creepy. They don't look like tarot cards. So if you've got people that are a little bit hesitant, it can be really easy to just pull one of these and go, oh, you know what that means? That means you've got good luck, ace of pentacles, you know, good jobs coming towards your way, that sort of thing. And they're not going to be as scared as if you pulled out a right away smith. The good thing with your standard deck of playing cards is you can fall back on your knowledge of the suits and what they represent, as well as the number meanings. So if you know your number meanings from ace to 10, you're going to have a really good way of weaving those meanings and definitions together without the use of a pictorial uh, reminder in those cards. For example, tens. Tens in the tarot are completion, perfection, and the end of a cycle. So 10 of cups or 10 of hearts is going to be completion in terms of our emotions, our relationships, and it's perfection as well, right? Happy endings, happy family life. That's what this card means in the tarot. If you remember, it's that beautiful rainbow with those cups and the happy family underneath, right? So that's what you need to rely on. You know what perfect ending cycles, all of that means with the tens and weave it in with emotions and relationships. 
relationships and intuition. Now, if you pick the Ace of Swords, for example, that would be Ace of Spades in this regular playing deck. That can be new ideas, new insights, a new focus, renewed energy in terms of your mental health, that sort of thing. So it can be really easy. You might have, you know, someone at a party, they're doing a magic trick and you say, hey, can I grab this deck of cards? Let me pull a card for you, right? I go, all right, let's see what you need to hear right now. Ooh, Ace of Clubs, right? Ace of Wands. So you have a new project coming up that's going to get you all fired up and creative and you're fully motivated for it. You need to just grab that idea and run with it, right? Use that as your baton and keep on moving. Use that energy. And that's their little insight for the day. They go, oh, cool, that was fun. What was that? Oh, you know, just reading the fortune cards. So you don't even have to call them tarot if that freaks people out. So I'm going to pop a little cheat sheet up of all of the numbers and what they mean, just to give you a good bouncing off point. So make sure to screenshot it or save this video for reference later. And here it is. So you can see here, we go all the way from ace to 10. Now these are gonna be the same meanings regardless of the suit that you have, but you add the suit meaning in with the number, weave them together to get their individual meanings. So the plus side to using a regular deck is you're not gonna scare anybody. They're handy, they're everywhere, and you can always usually find one. They're also usually a really good size for shuffling, and the cardstock is often fantastic. The downside is you don't get those major arcanas, but there's new and interesting ways that you can read with those cards, as I said. So you might put a few different cards out, add all those numbers together, almost doing that numerology thing, and get your major arcanas in that way. I hope today's video has helped you learn how to read the tarot with a regular deck of playing cards. I wish you all the best and I'll chat to you next time. Bye.